Hey you guys, it is Miss Terry. Long time no see, but I'm back at it. Um, checking in. I am an intuitive reader, psychic channel, and I do some mediumship work. Christians would call me a prophet, prophetess. Um, ancestors would call me a priestess. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm here with a daily read because I felt moved to do it. And also, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be back in the mountains this week doing, again, the Elevation for Inspiration reading. And it is so beautiful in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And because I am a channel and I channel spirit, I feel like when I go to the mountains and spend some time up there, I get the most beautiful, clear messages for people, people messages that really 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 touch people in a really special way so i'll be offering those readings again you can get those from the website uh www.terrybeal.com the bonus that i'm gonna be doing with that is i'm taking um taking candles with me this time and i'm gonna charge them i'm a reiki master and a reiki teacher so with that being said you can infuse reiki into anything and you might have already purchased reiki charge candles but i'm going to be blessing them charging them with the healing energy from the mountains and with healing energy from spirit and the reason i chose the blue one is because the blue one is for wisdom harmony communication helping increase your inner light peace, uh, sleep, relaxation. Um, so with all this eclipse energy that we have been going through and retrograde energy that we're going through, um, getting this candle sent to you and being able to sit and burn it and meditate with it will help you bring more peace in. It's like a unification. It's like burning it in solidarity together. Like, spirit, you, me, the trinity, making it happening. And it's really a beautiful, beautiful thing. So you can also set your intention. You can charge your own intentions on top of it. If you have anything that you're working towards, anything that you want to manifest, you can definitely put that energy into the candle when you get it. And this will get mailed out at the end of the, end of the week or beginning of the next week when I get back. The candle and your reading will be sent out to you. Physical mail. How about that? Mail in a mailbox. Unless there's for some reason you need me to burn it. I do have an altar set up that I could burn the candles at my altar. But if you don't need me to um, burn it for you, you can burn it into your own house. Or when you order it, you can let me know if you want me if you want me to set a specific intention and if you want me to burn it for you, just let me know in the notes section when you order it. So Blue Ridge candle elevation for inspiration that's happening this week. And I only got uh, 20 candles, so they're going to go fast. Sorry, but I don't want to be taking all that with me. So I capped it at 20, so you might want to get it get it while it's hot okay so message of the day now I'm not even gonna timestamp this on on when you can get this because whenever you get it is for you uh, with a general message because it's not to one specific person it may not resonate with you but if it doesn't resonate with you that's okay um, you can always book a private reading specific to you, specific to any questions that you want to have answered, um, anything that you want to tap into spirit with. Um, when I read, it is for your highest and your greatest good. It is to save you time. It is to help you get to the next level. Um, some people say it's for entertainment. Mine's is for ele elevation, evolution. I go to elevation. Yeah, mine's is for evolution. Like, it's not necessarily just for fun and games now any medical conditions please consult your doctor you know 
consult your doctor, consult your physician if you have anything medical going on. Um, so when the reading comes, if it resonates, it's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Today I am reading from Messages from the Fairies. And I picked this one because the fairies are in the mountains. So I feel like they wanted to give y'all a free message. Free message. So let's see what the message is for today. What's on everybody's mind? And I'll try to be really, gen really general and broad with it so that if you don't catch the whole message, a part of it might be for you. Like the whole thing may not resonate, but the thing that jumps out at you, that's the answer to your question, that, that part's for you. Okay, so we set the intention. Mm, easy does it. Easy does it. it. Says, stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. Mm. 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 Stop. Stop. Just stop. We are already in an eclipse. So things are already going a little haywire. You got to go with that crazy flow. You cannot... Now, particularly, is not the time for you to be building something new and trying to sign contracts and stuff like that. Just take it easy. There, There's usually delays, um, electronical failures during eclipses and retrogrades. So give yourself some time to take it easy. We're winding down the summer. August is like going top speed. So Spirit is saying, take it easy. Um, to all my control freaks out there. Next one. Be yourself. <laughs> who would you be if you weren't controlling everything? Do you even remember who that is? Do you? Who is that? The you that is your true self. It says this situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So you got to get clear on what makes you tick. What makes you tick? Do you, have you even stopped and paid attention to what makes you tick these days? Is anything making you tick? Are you over it? Are you over everything? That's all the more reason for you to take it easy. Like, seriously. The reason why it's saying this is because so much resistance causes illness so you want to just be really really careful on what you're allowing into your energy because it does affect your physical body and then it goes into your immune system and you don't want to get sick travel travels up next that's what i'm about to be doing holla mountains get on board go with the flow easy does it take a trip take a day trip drive Drive. Even if you don't go out of town, staycation, daycation. Drive to a park you've never been to. Take some time and to get into nature. Get away from all the electronical energy. If you can, just take some time. It's okay. Like, literally, people don't realize that if you drop dead, the world is going to keep spinning. So you might as well take the time that you need for you. It is super, super important. And you can do it or you can not. Listen, you can take a plan travel or you can be traveling in the ambulance because you don't have a panic attack thinking you're having a heart attack and end up in the hospital. Mm, dietary change. Okay, so this is all about self-care, y'all. Spirit is like, please. And it feels so, the reason why I'm emphasizing it like this is because when they give me messages, they give me the feeling with it. And it feels, they're giving me a sense of urgency. Like this is urgent. Like it's urgent for you to take it easy, to get into yourself, to take some time off, to take a vacation, to watch what you're eating and drinking. Um, it plays a part. Your vi What you eat plays a part in how you feel. And you know this, this isn't nothing new, but how many times do you have to be told before something goes wrong and it's not about wishing ill it really is about just like a heads up heads up hello spirit cares heads up they want you to be here they want you to stick around they want you to be involved in life okay it feels like hmm 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 
it feels like somebody's about to get the things that they want. Mainly, it feels like jumping out like a new car, car repairs. It feels like car repairs or a new car, the money is going to come through for it. You just have to specifically ask for what you want. Like, literally, it's not even a joke. Be specific with it so that it can come that way. Um, don't be wishy-washy and don't be afraid to ask for help. Like, sometimes you need to ask for help. That's what this is about. Asking for help. Because it's going to come through what you need. It's like a test to see if you're going to try to, oh my God, it's like, are you going to try to be superwoman or superman and do it all your own again? Or are you going to actually get some help this time with what you need? It kind of makes me feel sad too, because I can feel somebody struggle in their resistance because they don't like to ask for help. And it's like, you gotta, you gotta ask for help. That's how you're, that's how you're going to get blessed. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the next deck that I want to use. Can I reach it? Yeah. Okay. So fairies play well with butterflies. So I grabbed the butterfly oracle cards. And these cards are really pretty. Okay. And don't be having buyer's remorse if you just got a new car. Because you need that car. Who was you kidding? Who was you kidding? It's not like it was a luxury. It was a need. So don't have buyer's remorse. Just keep it pushing. Do what you got to do. Work through it. Whatever, Whatever's happening. Keep working through it. Okay, so somebody needs to get in touch with their spirituality because I got the spiritual growth card and the religion and the spiritual card. So whatever it is that you resonate with as God, the higher power, the creator, get in touch with that. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if you're Buddhist. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim. It doesn't matter if you're Christian. Get in touch with what you consider your higher power. Now, some people, their church is nature. So they go to the church of the woods or the church of the trees. Or some people, they find the most serenity when they go to the beach. Do whatever it is that you have to do to get in touch with source. Because your cup is empty. And you need to re-up that cup. That's why this message is coming out that way. After you do that, you need to get into your hobby. Get into whatever it is that is fun for you like creatively and it could be the same thing you could have a great time at the beach and just re-up but you need to really really take a minute people are in a lot of overwhelm and anxiety right now the energy has been crazy like it's so overwhelming it has been so nostalgic it has been so it's just been it's been really really an emotional time you might find yourself crying for no reason and if you do find yourself crying for no reason let the tears come out just let it out after it all comes out tell yourself a joke or put on a happy song or watch something funny to bring yourself back up but whatever release is happening now needs to happen now Spirit is saying, if you would have cried when you were supposed to cry, instead of holding it in like a champion, you wouldn't be crying now. So Spirit is literally saying the tears are coming, whether you know why you're crying now or not. So just let them out and then raise your vibration back up. And like I said, the easiest way to do it is to put on happy music or put on a comedy so that you can laugh and really raise your vibration back up. Um... Let's see. I do not want to overwhelm. And I know people's attention span is short um, with these videos. So I'm going to try to keep it short. Last one is courage. Now, everything that is going on right now, for some reason, somebody needs to hear that it is not your fault. It is not your fault. You just got to be strong and you got to keep moving forward. Whatever is happening is not about a blame. It is 
spirit saying like life situation so there's no ne no need to blame and rehash and try to go over it again in your head about what it could have shoulda or what's up or what's down or what's not or what's left or what's right it's like all you have to do is hold fast to your courage and keep moving forward this isn't meant to stop you this was not meant to derail you this was just like faith you got to work through faith you got to work through courage you got to be strong and you got to keep moving forward that's what this is about it's not something that is supposed to stop you or change direction uh and it's like your angels and your guys are with you. So sometimes if there's nobody else around to ask for help for, say, angels, guides, help me with X, Y, and Z. Whatever it is, just ask for help and watch how they help you with it. You might get a phone call from a friend you haven't heard from, and they might just be checking on you. And that might be your opportunity to talk. So reach out. Reach out. Even if you reach out just to your angels and guides that are around you okay so i'm gonna wrap this up like i said people in the attention spans don't want to overwhelm you but if you want to book a private session you can book it at terrybeal.com the information is below if you want to get the elevation for inspiration reading that comes with the candle you can also book that there um and any questions or anything that you have email me from the website and I will get back to you as soon as I can and I'm gonna wish you guys peace love and light until the next time we do this again okay oh like share and subscribe thank you guys bye bye